Hello, this is Ravi Ozarkar and today I'm going to show you response spectrum analysis and how to experiment with the macros inside GT Strudel and also making your own seed files. This is the third video. So in the last uh, video, we actually looked at how to take the res this response spectrum curve and input that into GT shell uh, and also run the response spectrum analysis using this curve. So let me go into GT shell. So this was the environment. If I go and click on the graphics icon, this is the graphics. We had created this model, right? Um, and we also were able to see the results of the response spectrum analysis using different combinations, you know, such as root mean square, CQC, and, and others, you know. Okay, so now what we can do is we can actually save this data. There's this pointer icon besides the disk icon, and you can just say text input file, and I can call it all commands, okay? And this is a GTI file that's going to get generated in my you know, downloads folder. Okay, so if I go here to downloads, there's my all commands. I can right click on this file and open it using GT Strudel, of course, but I can also go to Notepad and see all these inputs. But it might be missing some of the commands, right? So that you might have given. So, for example, it doesn't know the sequence of commands. So you could actually go in and use these other options, you know, uh, to uh, go to command history and just say command history and save that. And now if I look at that file, let's go here again. This is the command history file and I can open it using notepad again. And this will actually give me more information so what's happening here is i can actually take all this data and run it and that's what i call as a macro okay i can run that over and over again or bits and pieces of it if i wanted to do that okay so if i wanted to run that whole file i can come to command mode and just copy and paste that or i, I can just rename that file to gti and it would actually do the exact same thing that i had done okay so this file can be saved on your network drive and can be run using GT shell, okay, over and over again. So it is a very powerful tool for larger corporations to make, to do standardization of their project uh, tasks. Okay, so let me go into file, new strudel job. I'm just gonna start um, fresh here and you know, I still have my, my old job, okay, here. Uh, one thing that I missed was, okay, if, I, if you go to results, then there is also dynamic results. There's an option to create pseudo static loads, okay? So what you can do is I can create a load case number three, call it pseudo static, okay? So what it can do is it can take your response spectrum curve, uh, response spectrum results, and convert it to pseudo static um, uh, cases. Okay, so I can go and select which one I want to use to create my pseudo static uh, case. And you can click on these three dots and you can just say which dynamic load you want to use. So there's only one, but I can just, I could have just said yes, all. Uh, but I'm just going to pick two, click on OK, and what that does is it creates a pseudo static uh, load case for you. Okay, so just wanted to show you that. Okay, so this is the brand in uh, the brand new session. If I go into the graphics, you see I don't have anything in this interface, right? So uh, if you go into tools, there's this option called macros. Okay. And there's tutorials about what uh, you can do. So let's go to tutorial number three, okay? This is just a README 
.txt file if you want to see this you can go to edit and you can read about what this whole example is all about okay okay um, no problem we'll just go just click on the first one and if you double click on it it just executes that macro okay if you say display model it's just going to say hey you need to go to GT menu to see that okay so no problem we can just close this dialog box and you can follow their instructions you can just click on GT menu icon and there is a model okay you can click on this 3d toolbar uh, icon and you can see review the model so it's a simple frame model okay uh, and it has some load cases also so live loads equipment loadings and you can just review all that uh, data if you wish okay okay so let's close GT menu uh, let's go to tools macro so we are if you know completed display model right so now we are going to do stiffness analysis so it's running a stiffness analysis done okay it, it ran the analysis so what these files contain is just individual GT strudel commands that you know run the analysis and display text uh, now I'm going to go in and just run a joint instability analysis okay so it, it basically gives me some instructions I'm going to say select all so what it's doing it's actually going to select members for you uh, run the design now it's going to reanalyze and check all so it's optimizing the structure right and you can just say plot code check so this is basically instructions for you to go back into GT menu and check you know this code check results of course you can do that uh, you can select fail and smooth the entire structure gives you a steel uh, take off you can reanalyze and check all again uh, again there's a plot you can review the code checks uh, you can list all the section forces envelopes uh, and then you can run the response spectrum loads.gti file okay so if you wanted to see what's in there you can click on edit and again like we did in the previous videos they um, have defined a response spectrum curve here and then they uh, you know uh, apply the response spectrum loading okay so they're not running the analysis okay so anyways you can have this open minimize it let's just double click on it so step number 12 as I said you know it's just entering the data right now you can go plot dynamic load results okay you can actually see uh, those plots if you want you can first so this is your step number let's go to our uh, PowerPoint slide this was we've created the geometry we've reviewed the mode shapes damping ratios define the response spectrum now we want to run the response I mean we have also defined the response spectrum load directions but uh, now they're actually running the uh, eigenvalue so they're actually calculating calculating the mode shapes so these are all the mode shapes calculated to a lot more mode shapes than we had before it tells you that you can review those in graphics we saw that in the first video oh sorry the second video response spectrum analysis output okay so it's running the response spectrum analysis showing you all the base shears and so on for different load conditions and then it runs uh, a time history analysis also okay so I wanted to show you these macros that they have set up okay now you can write your own macros like I showed you all those commands can be saved these these are actually in your sorry program files GT strudel and if you go to 41 uh, here are some example problems that you can follow extended example problems for different codes it is under a GT strudel folder under macro sorry about that okay so you can go here and if you go to common 
these are all the folders okay so you can actually create your own folder also this is tutorial number three that we were looking at this is the readme.txt file that we were looking at okay um, so you could probably put uh, your own macros here and run them like I was running it from GT shell okay or you can put those on the network drive and people can access your macros you know in the future so uh, that's all I had for response spectrum analysis in these videos we looked at um, these examples where we um, created a geometry from scratch applied a uh, self-weight loading and ran the analysis we learned how to review mode shapes uh, define damping ratios and define response spectrum uh, define the response spectrum load direction and then also running the response spectrum analysis and reviewing the results right uh, we also looked at uh, this macro uh, feature right and if you go in here we have uh, all these load cases created and also we have response spectrum analysis results here uh, for different uh, cases so it is a lot of uh, analysis that uh, that we, we've been able to do with just the macros we also learned about how to create pseudo static uh, load cases there is also mention of that in these um, files you also have access to this uh, PDF document that is a step-by-step -step guide about how to perform response spectrum analysis on a steel frame. Uh, with that, I would like to thank you all for attending. Uh, if you have any questions, please uh, let me know. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye-bye.